Welcome to Temptations, the one in a in a sea of, you know, a little bit of a drought, and then there'll be a little bit more of a drought with the holidays. But we did want to get a couple in, so we're back at least for now. Psychic, take it away. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we are finally back for Temptations. What? Hello, everybody, and welcome to my world by creation and uh, a place that we have already managed to kill one of our players, uh, but that doesn't matter because they're back. Uh, no, so leaving us off from the last episode, you guys had finally made it to Teague, you met Anna Batalos, who is currently the uh, acting officer, sheriff of uh, the city of Teague, you had the information that Teague was kind of like the in-between kind of city, the merchant city between uh, both sides of the continent. Um, I'm not going to try to remember the names of the continent because I've been playing Stifled for so long, we are in Atrium and Hovaren, uh, not whatever our cities are called. Uh, mm. So I will remember that next time, but uh, while we were in Teague, you guys had set yourselves up with the teleportation circles. Um, you found out that they were basically uh, consumed by capitalism, um, and it had been, I keep on getting it wrong, but I think it's like three people. You can take two people for free, but because there's a party of four, that was my kind of like, screw you guys. Uh, yeah. way to get around that. It was just <clears throat> enough to be mean to the party. That's That's what I remember. Yeah. I would expect nothing less from me. Um, but you guys had were kind of looking at the uh, kind of the board to earn some cash because there were a couple of different ways that you could get across the border. You could either get half smuggled uh, with like a human uh, a smuggling thing backwards and forwards because it is heavily uh, guarded. It's heavily kind of militarized zones to try and get through. Or you could take a train uh across but that would cost some money uh or if you've got a few like couple hundred gold you can just i don't know get one person to teleport three times um and take some friends valrus was also considering just building a boat <laughs> <laughs> well, wasn't there something uh, about a job where we could get some money too or am i making mm. that up yes you were asked to kind of go in the stead of anna um to a uh, kind of a Magi village or circle uh, to the south of Teague, which were uh, Varus people, um, as the magicians in this world are basically heavily uh, suppressed due to the fact of magic kind of not really being an acceptable thing unless the king's like, this specific kind of magic is fine, so it's very hypocritical. Um, but oh, yeah, yes. so you guys have, have come down... I have a problem with that. I remember. <clears throat> I remember now. I'm getting yeah, back into it. I'm not happy with that one, but... Uh, you started to get a little bit closer, and Val and Rose were able to find uh, the path leading towards with the little paper dolls that were kind of dancing around and uh, showing the way. Uh, as you got closer, you'd heard the sounds of fire and trees crackling under uh, the basically the burn of a large forest fire. And as you got closer, you saw uh, the guard that had, uh, let's be real, blatantly murdered in cold blood Lando. Um, and Coral was kind of like, ah, you're an asshole, I'm going to kill him. And Val had a emotional breakdown seeing uh, her village friends uh, be essentially burnt to the ground. Like, there is nothing left here. Um, the only thing that I can't remember if it was mentioned or not was that even though Val didn't know these people specifically, your communication and connection with your people is kind of like a like a big network amongst everybody. So like everybody kind of knows everybody in a sense. Um, and this was really hitting you hard. And you went uh, sicko mode, I believe is a, a fun way to call it. Uh, and you guys had started the fight with the knight. And I was hoping to get another turn out because he would have summoned his little dragon drake friend. But you guys were like, yeah, no. Uh, and we ended the last session <clears throat> with the start of Phase 2 of the boss fights. And Phase 2 had essentially started with the half-reveal that Torval had essentially body-snatched the guard and was putting himself into this uh, fight, essentially. And it got to the point where Torval then started to grow the extra limbs he had started to essentially uh turn himself into kind of almost like a spider monster in a sense put him back there and it was 
this one's turn. Um, but yeah, as he kind of... He's laying on the ground, you slew the guard, and then you heard the retching sounds of the bones starting to break, you heard the squelching of the body starting to expand, and the arms start to appear at the back, almost like a spider in a sense, as Torval now wakes up and stands in front of you, about eight feet in the air, as his limbs just elongated. And as he's kind of just staring down at you, his face dark from the soot, from all of the ash along the ground, uh, and hearing the crackle behind him. Your god can't help you now. They don't even know you're here, do they? Or maybe they do when they've left you. He's going to look towards you, uh, Coral. And as he kind of stares directly at you, uh, got some new tricks, met some new gods, but it doesn't matter what Coral does, it only matters what Zeb does, doesn't it? Because if you remember, Torval can break the fourth wall and talks to the players directly. So, it's not creepy Zeb... Yeah, I was like, weird. <laughs> Do you want to Jesus respond thing. or react in any way? <laughs> Muted. <laughs> Torval can also <laughs> mute you. Yeah, I am. Yeah, that Torval has muted you, card, cast blindness, deafness, and told you to get Oh, clearly I'm not going to respond for anything because I'm muted. Um, <laughs> no. Um... <laughs> Yeah, no response. No. Toll is the anticipation gonna of killing stand me. there. <laughs> He's gonna stand there and he was waiting. And that anticipation has done a little something to him as he stands in front of you. And he is immediately going to attack and I need to know if a fifteen is going to hit you. Fifteen does not hit. All right. While you waited in the anticipation, as soon as you started to open your mouth to respond, he almost, like, lightning quickly dashes up to you and, using that momentum, tries to charge into you to push you and Arendelle further back. But as you kind of stand there, you place your shield in front and just feel kind of like this almost holy energy kind of work with you to hold him in place and push him back mm. and this is where we're going to start our proper initiative now due to the fact of that he would start uh regularly in the combat uh rose what would you like to do you are first up oh i am okay that's not good <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? It's you four versus him, but he's going lost. Yeah, Which... I just... I wasn't prepared. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Um, was that his turn? Technically? Not... Or no. No. Okay. So we're starting initiative now. Yes. Okay. I'm trying to remember what I cast my third level spell slot on before. <laughs> Can't remember. Uh, this was like so two months ago. <laughs> yeah, I will. Just to get things started, uh, I'm gonna cast Bane on him uh, as he's okay. as he's flying in. I'm gonna try to make this as hard for him as possible. I'm gonna need a charisma saving throw from him. All right. Charisma saving throw from Torval. That is an 18. He's gonna succeed on that. On the plus side, he only rolled a uh, he only rolled a seventeen, so he only has a plus one to his charisma. Okay, okay. So let's see. Because I like being open about this stuff. I also find it being scary when you know what you can and can't hit. Also, Torval's a dick, so of course his charisma's low. Yeah. True. Fair. Dick. He's not uh, a charismatic oh, he asshole. Me. He's just an asshole. <laughs> 
and we know you can hear us. That is going to check the things off a little. That's all I'm going to do. But <laughs> remind me. Uh, yes. Bread and butterflies are familiar. They can take the help action since they're up there, right? Outside of yes. my action. Yes, and I believe that you're the one that can summon because you have the dream catcher. Yes, yeah, I can do that. Right. So, yeah. so then, yeah. So the bread so, and butterfly will act on your turn. It'll take the help action, just kind of flying around its head, and I'll give that to Coral. Mm-hmm. Cool. So, Coral, you will have a help action for your next action. Arendelle. I'm down a spell slot for nothing. There is the sound. I love that bell. I do too. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, so, um, I've still got spirit guardians up around me. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to take Arendelle out and then kind of just back in just to have the hit happen on um, um, Torgal. Um, yep. And that's going to be a wisdom saving throw. You need to get 15. Uh, that will be 8. Okay, uh, so he's going to take 8 Radiant. 8 Radiant? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, eight radiant on total. Alrighty, that is doubled to sixteen. He has a weakness. Ooh, okay, nice. Does anybody need any healing? I think everybody's good, right? Yeah, I'm good for him. <clears throat> I th- okay. I think so because I had that thought too. But I mean, I'm capped up. Yeah, I'm good too. Um, then in that case, I'm going to. Uh, use my action to cast Sacred Flame. Uh, it's going to be a Dexterity 15 saving throw. Alrighty. That is going to be an 11. It's going to take 7 Radiant, so 14. So 14 Radiant. That will bring him down to that much HP. Yeah, not that open. <laughs> I was like, what? I thought you were open. <laughs> <laughs> and so nobody needed healing because I could still, I've still no. got my bonus action. No. Oh, I'm no. Good. Okay, then that'll just be my turn. I'll just stay where I'm at. Okay. Val. Oops. I would like you to do something for me. Oh, no. I would like you to roll me a d100. If you oh, can hit it. a 95 or above, then I can introduce something. But if you don't, well, shit happens. Show me the money. 60. Nope. Not All right, take it. your action as normal, please. Excellent. <laughs> I oh, am going to... Iron Man, my lightning launcher, at mm-hmm. him. And I think I can do this twice. Okay. I think um, I did make it as a bonus action instead of just an action for you. Because I didn't like that. Yeah. It's like, this is stupid. This is a dumb idea. <laughs> Does a 17 hit? Uh, a 17 will just hit. Yes. Yes! All right, so this is really cool. So I can do, and let me clear my thing. Uh, it and it deals one d six extra lightning damage on a hit, and once on each of your turns, when you hit a creature with it, you can deal an extra one d six. So I can do two d six lightning damage on top of the damage mm-hmm. that I do. So let's do damage first. Yep, that's gonna be a nine regular damage. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to roll 2d6. And then that's going to be 11 lightning damage. Um, 11 lightning. Bring us down to that much HP. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll try again. 
Um, pew pew. Okay. Um, that that's a nine. <laughs> it's not gonna work. A nine will definitely not hit, <laughs> nope. unfortunately. Okay, I hit once. It's you good. You see that your your second lightning shot. Whilst you were aiming, <laughs> fine. I don't know. Maybe you were just a bit surprised that the first one hit. You were just kind of a little bit off. Yeah. We're still going through our emotional uh, yeah. moment. Let's say that. Maybe trying not Alrighty, to hit so everybody else that's in that little... <laughs> mm, true. Um, and I you're think... also trying to fire it around, like, wanted curve the missile, curve yeah. the bullet style around Rose. That's why I said Iron Man style. Um, yeah. <laughs> I am also very short. That's funny. Okay. Um, no, I think... You need to get a standing it. desk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that works. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else that you are wanting to or can do in your turn? Uh, not at the moment. Not at the moment? No. Alrighty. Pearl. Okay. Uh, what do you want to do? Yeah, we'll start off with bonus action. I'm going to cast uh, Compel Duel. Okay. So that's going to be... Yeah, uh, that's going to be a wisdom save. Check, check. Yeah, wisdom save. Alrighty. Torval is going to look at you and not roll his dice as he knows and can see what you're doing. And he's just going to just tap you on the head and you're going to feel yourself revert a few seconds before and say, why don't you try that again? I'm not here for that shit. <laughs> try something else. At least try to hit me. Okay. Oh, that I is mean, one of his legendary yeah, that, one of his legendary that's, that's, uh, that's kind of a little infuriating, so yeah, I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> Alright, so that's yeah. A, that's a I clever just, like use of legendary resistance though. I like it. Yeah. Alright, so uh yeah, uh We can blame do... Wolf introducing me to them with fucking Sephiroth, sir. So. <laughs> yeah. That's two attacks then coming his way. Alrighty, what have we got? Uh, in the three to five business days, for it takes four. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> hey, no, it twelve missed. Rolled. Twelve missed, and second one's gonna even more miss. Nope. Oh, natural one is definitely going to uh, miss. As he uh, kind of just had, did. You had the help uh, action, so you did have advantage on one oh, of your attacks. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh, for the first that's one. Okay, true. so I'll roll yeah. one more time. Yep. Why not? See if you can hit him. Hey, there we go. 25. A 25 will do yeah. it. So you basically try to slash with your sword <laughs> twice and miss uh, before Bread and Butterfly starts to fly around Torval and he kind of like starts to get a bit distracted. And you take the free hit on him. There we go. Roll me some damage. 10 damage. 10 damage? Yep. Uh, and that is just with your long sword. You don't have your smite up. That's correct. Alrighty. Uh, you are using your hand. So if you read through Coral's Guiding Hand, does that apply with every hit? Uh, that is a true smite. It is. Look at me remembering the stuff I made about Yeah, I know. Um, this doesn't happen very often. <laughs> No, it's only when I use my smite, so I did not do that this time. Okay. Well, you still did a decent chunk of damage. Yep. I'm quite proud of that one. So, is there anything else that you are able to or want to do in your life? No, you kind of threw me with uh, uh, turning off my uh, um, my spell there, so no, I'm good. <laughs> Alrighty. It is now Torval's turn. Although you burned a legendary resistance, if that is how that works. So. He did. Yeah, absolutely. We will, we will be honest. He did burn a resistance doing that one. He is going to kind of feel a little bit of the damage that you guys have thrown at him. Whether Ow. it's lightning, whether it's, you know, all the damage that he's been hit with so far. And the funniest part about it is that he's just going to keep on looking around at the four of you and at Bright and Butterfly. Uh, and he's just kind of laughed at himself a little bit. And says, what? 
Maybe it was a good thing Charles saved you all. If this is all you can do. A little embarrassing, don't you think? I mean, one's having an emotional breakdown at the loss of their friends. And Coral, Zeb, you've already met the gods a couple of times now, which is rather impressive, but... Only 70 hit points of damage. None of you have any idea what he's talking about. This is all reality for you guys. <laughs> it's just only 70 damage. And I have so much more. But then again, maybe some fights aren't supposed to be won. And he is going to shift himself behind to Arendelle. And I need you to make me a D100 roll, please. I need an 80 or above. I was about to say, please don't kill oh. another one of Ravnax characters. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. That would be a funny. Uh, there we go. Gosh. For the D100 for Arendelle. A 41. Yeah, this one is supposed to be difficult to pass due to what uh, Torval is, essentially, which is basically a god. Um, essentially, Arendelle, you feel him... Like, you can see him shift from where he was in front of Coral, and you can feel this kind of, like, darkness and these tendrils behind you as you feel all of his hands and arms just kind of grab you onto the side, and you feel him, like brush his nails into your skin and you can feel something kind of seeping into your blood essentially and while right. Arendelle is obviously going to start screaming as it starts to drain your health points you're going to lose half of your health Ooh. and I need to know yeah, what that number is please. Am I? that's 21 21 mm -hmm. And Torval is going to gain that. Oh, oh, rude. Oh, no. One of those. But while Arendelle uh, feels that kind of pain and yeah. that basically that like dark, tendril yuckiness essentially course through their blood, uh, Ravnok, you yourself are going to start to feel a little bit of loss. As obviously, you don't want to lose another character, do you? It would be nice to not have to lose another character, right? <laughs> don't you think? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. Torval's got to chuckle to himself and say, well, if you want to find out, why don't I hit you harder next time? Irv. Or maybe I could hit one of your friends. I mean, no one knows who Rose is, which means no one's going to miss them if they die. Um, Arendelle just kind of rolls her eyes. She's not really paying attention to you anymore. <laughs> not really listening to you, at least. Alright. Tall is going to look towards you, Rose. He's going to let go of Arendelle. And he's going to kneel down as if he is ready to do something. How do you react to that? Because it's your turn. Before you move on, he's ending his turn, mm -hmm. and he uh, gets the Spirit Guardian's damage. Yep. Uh, that's just an automatic hit, isn't it? Yep. Uh, 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 do you 13 need to roll Radiant. That? 13 Radiant will double to 26? Mm-hmm. Hey, you just neg negated what he took from you. Yeah. Yeah, and then some. There you go. Done well. You'll notice that Rose's hair starts to blow a little bit back, and the rest of you can feel like the wind starting to pick up. And above us in the in the sky, you see some storm clouds start to form as just Rose's eyes are filled with rage. You need to get away from my friends right fucking now. And as soon as she says now, a lightning bolt flies down and slams right beside him, and I'm going to need a constitution... No, sorry, dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving... Yep. Casting call lightning. Uh, that was a natural one. Please. Okay. Yeah. So that is 19. 
Uh, so 19, 19 lightning. 19 lightning damage. And then with Four. my bonus Two. action. Yeah. Yep. So bonus action by spinning dice. I am going you to use my bomb the summer court. As oh, the lightning strike calls him, like basically strikes him, uh, essentially out of nowhere, it shocks him out of his ready stance. Nice. Perfect. Her eyes, as she's just like, going to roll a natural one, narrowed at him as she's kind of doing that thing like storm. Like she's got her hands out mm. and she is like literally controlling yeah. the storm right now. Uh, with her bonus action, though, she will use bomb of the summer court. Uh, and this will get, I'm targeting Arendelle. Choose one creature you can see within 120 feet and spend a number of dice. So you got hit pretty bad, but I'm only going to, I'm going to spend. Because this guy's going to jump around. You got hit pretty bad, but you get one. Start with 2d6 for now. So I'll roll that. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get five HP back as well as five temporary hit points. Not bad. Sorry, sorry. Two temporary hit points. You get one per die I spent, so just two temporary hit points. Okay. All right. Um, I did get it wrong just a second ago. You are supposed to redo the wisdom saving throw for that Spirit Guardians. So it's a wisdom 15, mm -hmm. um, and we can just give you back the health. That's a fail. Okay, cool. Then nothing changes. <laughs> I go lie to you. That was then not good. <laughs> that He's is my that dice in dice jail and Torval's grabbing a new dice. <laughs> I don't think I have control, but could you move Bread and Butterfly up around him again? And uh help action will I guess have to go to Arendell since okay. Coral's no longer within range. Uh, where would you like me to put them? Because if you want to, you can put them on a corner, <laughs> and then Coral can walk to a corner and flank. Oh, yeah, that's a good... That's a good yeah, because it just has to be within five. So, yeah, just move them up right next to Arendelle, and I'll give the help action to Coral. Cool. Because that'll be five feet We're with both of them. Move there. Perfect. As Coral watches Bread and Butterfly go behind and just kind of moves them into position. Perfect. Kind of kind of lands on Coral's... Uh, Coral's shoulder for just a second and does that thing where butterflies do, like flap their wing really slow twice before they get up and commence the battle. Love that. Alright, anything else? Um, no, I think Rose would stand her ground. Good. So that's it for me. Recommended. DM recommended stand your ground. Don't move. I don't know and if I have that to now. And then prepare your misty sip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's ready. I I, I got know. that ready to go. I I know, what would you like to do? Um, first, I'm going to spend my bonus action and a second level spell slot to misty step away. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and then. Let's see. I need to do the measurement. And Misty Step is a teleportation, not a dash type, so he cannot try to grab you. Are you boy Arendelle or girl Arendelle right now? I'm not sure. I think girl. Okay. Or they them Arendelle. Andrew Arendelle. <laughs> yeah. Not concentrated. Are you a he, a she, or right. they? Um, so I moved just back into the um, range of the Spirit Guardians. Uh, so, mm -hmm. uh, Wisdom 15. Alright, for Wisdom 15. Orville is going to uh, watch you kind of enter back in and out again. And now realizes what you're doing as he reaches out and grabs one of the Spirit Guardian and pulls it out of formation. And you are no longer going to, you are no longer going to have uh, Spirit Guardians up. But he's going to throw the Spirit Guardian at you. So we're going to have a plus one AC for the rest of this battle. As the Guardian is still there to protect you. But Spirit Guardian is not going to work that way anymore. Instead, you will just gain AC. Similar to, I think it's Mirror Image. 
Okay. Mm. Um, I have mirror image. I can check that. Then in that case, um, I will just, um, um, I'll cast Sacred Flame at him again then. Uh, Dexterity 15. Dexterity of 15, 13 plus the, that is 16. So his dexterity is plus three. So it's a cancer, so, so I don't any... think he takes it. Uh, yeah, he doesn't take anything if he succeeds. Okay, cool. As you're all casting the sacred fly towards him, he kind of just like grabs it and snuffs it out in his um, hand. Yep, and then that's pretty much it for me this turn. Alrighty. Val, I'll grab another Hi. D100, please. This will happen at the start of your turn, every turn. Great. You you will have to remind me because I have the memory of a goldfish. Oh my god, same. That 78. Nope, we're slowly getting there. Yeah. Take your turn as normal. All right. I'm doing a little measury. Measury do. Okay. We love measuring. It lets me try to guess and then fail because I don't know spells or what you're trying to do. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, to be honest, I don't know what I'm trying to do either. Um, uh, let's oh, do a shooty because that worked last time. Okay. Uh, pew pew. Shooty make shooty. What do we got? Uh, twenty. A twenty is gonna hit. So it's gonna hit. I'm gonna do my two d six damage on this one. Yep. So that's going to be eight regular damage, and then mm -hmm. uh, nine uh, thunder damage, lightning mm -hmm. damage, blood thunder, whatever. Yep. Whatever. Uh, whatever. <laughs> all right, and then we're going to pew again. Uh, that is not going to hit. That's a ten. Uh, yes, a ten is definitely not going so to. Because she's like, she's like, ah, my calculations seem to be off. I. I'm only getting one directly. <laughs> She's like tweaking it to try to like improve the accuracy on the second drop. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, and that's my turn. Alrighty. Carl. All right. So I'm going to give, now that I'm not like immediately next to him, I think I can give this uh, uh, compelled duel another try. So I'm going to cast that. Okay. So it's a wisdom save. Unless he wants to legendary resist it. Uh, he is going to completely ignore your compelled duel. Okay. And that is going to be a second legendary resistance. Well, that annoys me, but uh, regardless, I'm going to move enough. around him to this side. And with my, my hand gives an extra 10 feet of range on my melee mm -hmm. attack, which is insane. But I love it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna uh, go there, move move around in that side, so I'm opposite the rest of the party, uh, and I'm gonna do my full attack on him. So yeah. Okay. Smack a bitch. Let's go. Smack a bitch twice. Uh, first one has advantage. I didn't roll with advantage though. But eighteen. Uh, that's fine. Hit? Eighteen will hit. If you want to use the advantage for the second attack, I will allow you to do that. Sure. That's uh, still a hit. All right. And uh, the second, yeah, second attack so, is going to be a flat out miss. So just yeah. one attack hits. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to smite this time. Okay. Flashing. Use right. level two smite. Six. So that. First off. And then all the smites, because all of your smites is radiant. So that's going to be 48 radiant. Oh, Hell oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. Let's go. And 48 is going to take forever to roll on your computer. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I won't oh, suck. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> Wow! Um, womp womp. Womp womp. This is That's so bad. bad. <laughs> this is going to be 16 radiant damage off of uh, 
if you think about it, 16 off a of 4d8 is a lot better than 8 off a of 4d8. It's the frog. It's the frog battle all over again. <laughs> the frog battle. Oh my god! Yes. Uh, all those turn the fucking frogs. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. All right, I'm done. Is there nothing else that you can do? No, I used my move, my bonus, and my attack, so I'm good. Alrighty. So here's where some of the fun parts starts to kick in. No. We've had a oh, couple wow. of rounds. We've had a couple of rounds. torval has been watching. torval has been analysing. Stopping a couple of things. Bringing a few things to what's end. And Torval is just going to look towards you three. Because he can't see behind him. Uh, he is a god, but he is not omnidirectional. Just omnipotent. Haha. <laughs> um, he's going to... I see that grid wolf. I'll take it. Um, he's going to look towards Arendelle, Rose, and Val. And looking at the three of you, he's... Everybody, you three make me a perception check. Or use your passive perception if you want to, it's up to you. Uh, my passive 17, I'll go with that. 19. Oh, Alright, sweet. The three of you will all see that he kind of has this very cocky smirk on his face. Because he just... This is what I wanted. I wanted a fight. Something that I was robbed of in the church. Because your dear friend come down to help. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted to see. I wanted to see what was so great about you four and why you were chosen. Could have been anyone else, but no. Only you. Well, luckily, in this world, we don't play by the rules. I mean, as the master, I make the decisions. You just tell me what you want to come back at. As he is going to not even give you the chance to react, and he's going to run towards you, Rose, and he's going to leap and grab you by the throat. I need you to roll me a d100, please. I'm going to need a 60 or above. Hold on. Ooh, oh, that's really good. Hurt. That was really... It was almost 100. Yeah. <laughs> that was really good. Well, we would have preferred it to be the 100. Uh, Torvo's going to grab you by the throat, Rose, lift you up. And he's going to do the same thing that he did to Arendelle. He's going to sink his fingers into you, and he's going to drain half of your HP. So I need to know what that half is, because obviously it's going back into him. 43, so we round down, right? So 21. So 21. But I have ready? five temporary, so I'm going to take those first. Yep. Yeah. Well, the temporary doesn't count for the total uh of the thing sure but, but you take... you can take it it doesn't yeah. yeah we know what we're talking about here we got this 16. um however as he is holding on to you and you rolled so low with the d100 your turn is skipped yeah. aaron he moved right hold on red right and butterfly skip. still he did still move. do something uh what's so unless oh, you've yeah. got something that can move faster than the speed of light, go ahead. Red and Butterfly's turn. She's just moving in to uh, do the help action again for Arendelle this time. She'll fly okay. and chase him. Red and Butterfly. Alrighty. Your turn was skipped, and he has you held on. As a DM, I am nothing but nice. I would be careful how you will react to this. It's at 21, right? Hold on, I need to make a con save. Eesh. Mm -hmm. That's going to drop my concentration, too. Ooh! That sucks. Uh, Arendelle. You turning around now see that Torval is no longer playing by the rules and has completely, like, stripped away Rose's uh, chance to act. This is something that you, 
that Arendelle has absolutely no idea what is going on, but you knew that Rose always acted before you, and you knew that she had had her turn, she had cast a spell and tried before, so you don't know what is going on. You'll notice but... that the, the clouds have parted now too, and the sun's coming back out. You recognize that he attacked her the same way that he attacked you, but he didn't stop you from moving. So, Arendelle, what are you doing? First, I'm going to cast, uh, use my bonus action to cast Healing Word uh, at the second level um, to heal uh, Rose for 4d4 plus 4. Okay. Uh, and that's gonna be... Oh, I figured it would just roll it. Is that not? Should. <laughs> yeah, doesn't it have, a like, some dice over on the effect column? I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna roll the 2d4 plus 4 and then roll two more d4. Because I can't... Okay. I don't know why it's not giving me the option. Uh, so, so 16 plus 7 is 16. Um, and Alrighty. then I'm going to use then I'm going to use my main action. Perfect. So before you do, mm -hmm. Rose, you will start to feel the healing energy run through you, and it's nice, but it's not as strong. As you're only going to get half of the healing, as his claws and the tendrils are also going to take half. What? That bunch of bullshit. <laughs> right. And your main action? Hold on, I'm doing math right now. Give me just a second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold uh, for math. Uh, Hold for math. Right, so, my main action, I'm going to try Sacred Flame on again. Okay. It's a dexterity 15. Mm hmm. Uh, it is a. Eight, he will fail. Uh, and Rose, you automatically fail. For what? Y'all are sharing damage. <laughs> and healing. With Oh. But that Arendelle, sucks. you don't know this, so your attack goes off. It's ten radiant. So he will still take a total of ten damage for the radiant, but Arendelle, uh, Rose, you will take five. As you feel your body starts to kind of, like, burn brightly from the inside out. <laughs> what sound was that? <laughs> Can't speak. He's got my... He's got my throat. <laughs> oh. Wow. That was... Uh, I love that. Uh, that'll be the end of my turn, then. All right. Val, a D100. For each time you roll, it does lower the DC by 5, so I need an 85 or above now, please. 73! <laughs> 73! You are slowly getting there. What would you like to do? Um. Actually, I'll give you a free uh, perception check first. Yeah, I would love that. Um... If I can get my ass to, uh, what am I doing? Get it together, Perception. Amy. Yeah, no, I know. You got this. I'm... I believe in you. I think. I'm just, I, you know, you shouldn't. That's a, your first <laughs> oh. in life. I'm just kidding. Um, okay. I mean, I don't know what I, what I was thinking. I just had like a super brain fart. A 20. 20. You are able to see what is going on. Your brain is just in LDHD mode, and you can see what Torval's doing. Torval doesn't realize that you've clicked into what he is trying to do, and that is that he is trying to make you all fight against each other unwillingly, in the sense of anything he takes, your friends will take. So in saying that, we're going to lower the DC again, because you did roll high enough. D100, 75 or above. Now? Yes, please. Okay. 
You got this. You got this. Uh. <laughs> I I want this to be known. This is a mechanic that I have been stifled with my friends. And the fact that you've missed a few is funny because both Tuff and Kangaroo got it on their first roll. <laughs> so, like, I love that I now get to actually implement some anticipation in this. Yeah. Uh, but you can see what's going on. This does grant you a little bit of immunity. Any damage that you do to Torble will not affect Rose because you yes! know where to go. Okay. Excellent. Beautiful. I love that. And Coral, on your turn, you'll do the same perception. Okay. Not now, though. Yeah. Hold your turn. Only Torbal's allowed to act out of order. <laughs> <laughs> I want these Chico's. <laughs> I mean, hey, if uh, if Val gets uh, this D100, she might get a cheat code. Uh, who knows? Let's go. Um. So what are you doing? Alright, so I am actually now going to use uh, my one. So I'm going to try something. Um, okay. I'm going to try something. I don't want to. Trying to decide what exactly I want to do. Um, hold for Silly Goose. Alright, so I am going to. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use my that. lightning launcher as the bonus action this time. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll do that one first just for funsies. Uh, 18. 18's going to hit. Yep. All right. I am going to do top five regular. Uh, and then uh, seven thunder damage. And then seven thunder, which brings him down to that. Uh, I would then... like to say, well done, all. He is now officially halfway through his health. Ooh. Oh, living. On... Okay. Um. <laughs> 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 all right, and then I'm gonna cast the spell. I think. Um, because I got some of those. I'm gonna. Uh, oh magic... yeah, right. Yeah, I'm gonna magic missile. Okay. Not? Right? Uh, that's that's, that's automatic hit, that's right? Two. Oh. Yeah. Um, but I can, there's three of them, right? Or I can do four because it says, oh no, that's at a higher level. I'm only doing a, a first level. So one, so two, two. five. Ooh, love that. Yeah. And then oh, one five. more. Four. Love that. Well done. That's, you that's, you did more that. damage than the 4d8. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Carl, you're gonna take one. You're gonna take one emotional damage from. <laughs> and I'm kidding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Great, the nerd's doing better. <laughs> more damage than he's done to me. Oh. oh. Mm. Alrighty, Val, right. is there anything else that you can do right now? Um, uh, yeah. Your bonus one, your regular action's done. Are you moving at all? I, or are I, you no, still I, on I, your knees? My friend is literally uh, uh, caught by the neck, so she is not going to move until she can make sure this guy gets busted. Cool. Busted. Alright. Busted if that makes is all. feel good. <laughs> Earl, this Earl. is not the stream for that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm gonna move. Wait for Golden Vault for those jerks, please. <laughs> Over here, um, I'm close enough to to still do my attack on him. I'm running low on spell slots, so I'm just gonna save everything for smiting, hoping I do better with my 48s now. Man. <laughs> All right. Uh. All right, so I'm attacking. Okay. Two attacks. Uh, 14. 14 will miss. 20. 20 will hit. All right, smiting with that one. Smite him. Let me use a level two smite. So let's okay. see if my 48 does a little bit better this time, I hope. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. 
intel. Come on, hit him. Hit him hard. Let's go. Uh, it's All better. Right. Yeah, so... You got a 20 uh, 28 total damage. 20, 22 total damage. I think. That's 14. 14 plus 14 is 28. 14 plus, plus 8. Yeah, but he's he, you double the fourteen because he's he's weak against radiant. Oh, right, you're right. So it's actually twenty eight plus eight. Twenty eight plus eight. Okay. That's uh thirty six. That's math. 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 Indeed. Uh, math. Equals that. Brilliant. Wait. Let me just. No, 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 no. Yeah, I did do the math right. I'm just stupid. Let's go. <laughs> Alrighty. As you essentially smite this bitch, uh, he is going to drop you, Rose. Yay! Oh. <laughs> He's going to drop you. All of the effects have still taken place. You've still taken damage, ETC. You will get your turn back now. And then it's back yeah. into the initiative like normal. So essentially, he was holding your turn. Okay. What a jerk. Yeah, Wish I was about had... to say that. Wish I had my concentration still, but since I don't, um, she will... I'm going to use my one free cast of bonus, at, or Misty Step, and I'm mm -hmm. going to get the fuck out of there. 30 feet, right? Okay. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'll just bounce down here. Mm -hmm. And then I will use... Yeah, I'll just try to thorn with it. 30 feet. Thorn with it. I'm going to miss, though. She's too distracted. And <laughs> she's still kind thorn of coughing. Good. Yeah. Uh, with a total of a nine... Uh, I am going to say that you definitely miss. You swung it out. You definitely miss. But with a natural one, you hit something else. <gasps> oh no! As you feel this kind of sting on the side from your dream catcher, as Bread and Butterfly uh, goes back to its home. You did miss oh, Catastrophe. You huge jerk. She's oh. gonna be so pissed. Mm. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. We'll Remember, Red and Butterfly you? is god of acceptance and love and probably totally knows that you didn't mean to hit them. She's probably okay. Yeah, She's I think still pissed, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna see you. You're about to see. She'll accept You're about later. to see the most <laughs> passive-aggressive look a butterfly can give you. <laughs> Mad, hey. just disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> so with that, uh, five, ten, fifteen, oh, your twenty, bonus twenty-five, and... thirty. I'm gonna, yep, I'm gonna move. move over here to just a little mm -hmm. bit further away. And she's just stumbling and kind of coughing. Um, she's trying to get herself back together though for okay. the next move. Is there anything else that you would like to do right now? No, uh, I think I'm tapped out there. Alrighty. Torval is basically going through everybody one by one and has tested your resolve, tested your abilities, stopped some, completely negated you, Rose, for a couple of turns before you dropped and you could finally act. And there's one left that he hasn't quite gone after yet. As Val, you see him turn to you, and you watch him kind of look around in the forest here. As the fire is still growing, as the fire still gets bigger, the bodies littered all around, some big, some small. And he looks at you, you know, as much fun as it is sometimes, you are. You're always told to finish the job. And he is going to leap at you. You're going to get the dexterity saving throw because you know what's coming. You're smart enough to figure out that he is gunning for you next. So you will get a dexterity saving throw. The DC is a uh, 16. 
Oh, that was a nat one. Oh, no. Nice. <laughs> you are going to get the rose treatment. Cool. He's going to grab you. That's He's what we call to... it now. The rose treatment. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to grab you. Yeah, it's been a real thought in your side so far. Um, uh -huh. He's going to grab you. He is going to drain half of your HP. I need to know that, please. So my HP is 28, so it'll be 14. 14. And Paul's just going to kind of laugh at you as he feels a lot less transference. I was just like, I can understand why you're in the back now. You're the weakest one here. As he does, he is going to turn towards the party, lifting you up and pulling you around to face everybody. And he's going to put you in front of him as a shield. So, Rose, what are you doing? So he it's has picked turn. you up and put you in front of him towards everybody else. Okay. Well, shit. Okay. Let me see something really quick. <laughs> Hold on. Hold for math. Oh, yeah. Something different. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Where am I? Dude, let's see how far away am I. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So she's going to start running because he's got her bestie in uh, his clutches. She can't quite get far enough. So she will get right here as far mm -hmm. as she can go. Then she will bonus action Misty Step to right behind him. Ooh. We can do that twice. Let's go. Well, I had, yeah, I had a free action, and now I can actually cast it. So bonus okay. action, Misty Step, right behind him. Mm -hmm. And then uh, she's just going to, like, as she lands, she's going to look at him and say, get away from her, you bitch. And then she's going to use her free ah. action that you gave me to wild shape into a wolf as she yep. just starts transforming, and then she's going to just lunge for the back of his throat. Okay. So, uh, with pack tactics, I should get advantage on this as well. Technically so, speaking, yeah. Uh, let's see. It's been a while since I've attacked like this, so it's... Love a good attack technicality. Roll. Plus four, I guess? Okay. I'll just roll a d20. Okay. Okay. D20, we have forgot. 12 plus 4. Forgot that I had advantage. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, 16. They are both going to miss. Okay. If I use my heroic inspiration, points. can I roll that again with uh -huh. advantage? Is that how we? Is that how that works? Technically, you are rolling another pack tactics attack. Okay. So, yeah, technically, you'll get another advantage. And if that's gonna... not what the rules are, uh, I don't fucking care. That just makes sense in my mind. Oh my god. <laughs> if you have a thought, put it in the comments. That, they're, <laughs> they're all gonna miss. All that shit. Okay. Uh, you didn't roll the fourth time? Uh, oh, did I not? Sorry. Because you missed the first one, but that had advantage. You okay, 17. 21. 21 will finally hit it. Okay, finally. Okay. You're right. I forgot to do it. Okay. Um, 1d6 plus 2. It's not a lot, but it's damage. <laughs> damage is damage. Uh, if it's if it's not immune to it, uh, it, this will do piercing damage, and if it's medium or smaller, we'll have the prone condition if it's not immune to that. Okay. I can tell you that it is not a medium or small. It is a the next side up the large, I think it is. Okay. Um, so that's going to be... Like eight feet tall, got a few extra legs. He could probably hold you up. Five damage. And I will say, D&D Beyond, if you could make it to where I could just roll from my wild shape uh, stuff, that would be awesome. That would make this so much <laughs> easier. D&D um, Beyond's can... like, don't play a druid. You, mm. should, you can pull up the stat blocks 
and just roll from them. Yeah, it won't show up oh, in the true. thing though. Oh yeah, it won't show up in our list. Uh, so yeah, like so she transforms and then leaps, and she basically like clamps down on his neck and is just holding on, just kind of dangling there. And that okay. would be my turn, and I get temporary hit points. For transforming as he does val you do get dropped you are no longer held on but Excellent. your turn will still come because rose was turned was after torvals mm -hmm. it held on to it because yep. yours is further down in line uh yours will just come by naturally yeah erin no down you don't have to worry about anything uh which is nice because i think you did more damage to rose and torval did <laughs> don't worry be happy now um <laughs> So, I think pretty much everybody needs heals right now, right? Yep. Wouldn't hurt. Okay. Uh, oh, like, I'm, gonna, I'm good. I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Mass Healing Word. Um, Ooh, we love that. So, all four of us will get 10 health. Awesome. Yay! Nice. Val, you're essentially back to full health. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to use my main action to mm -hmm. uh, pull out my symbol of woman, Jenko. Yep. And uh, use uh, my channel divinity, uh, Radiance of the Dawn. And okay. So I have to take a, uh, a, a, a DC 15 Constitution saving throw. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is a hard fail. Um, so it's 2d10 plus 5 radiant. So... That's good. Uh, so there's that is not... 14 radiant. Jesus, what is up with these uh, rolls? Plus 9, double is 18, what is it, plus no, 5? It was 14 because it was going to be, it's a 2d10 plus 5. There's no direct roll on here. Mm. So it's actually 14 was the roll. Okay, so that is then double to 28. Yep. And full radiant damage. Sweet. As Michael proceeds to change back into the calculator. Because Michael is hopeless. Hold for math. Hold for math. <laughs> That's what like this game should um, really be called. <laughs> yeah, this episode hold for math. <laughs> Alrighty, cool. He is starting to look her and emotionally you... or physically. <laughs> uh, physically, emotionally, he's still a prick. Uh, but physically, yeah. Arendelle, you can see that this. Oh, uh, that he's starting to sweat a little bit. Yeah. He wasn't expecting you guys to actually be able to take him on. I mean, gods are all assholes, right? Especially this one. Can you take someone with you when you miss your step? Uh, give me a second and I will... I think you can. Can you what? I don't someone... think you no, can take not someone this with one. you with Misty no. Step. I think no, no. that... That's, I think the, that that's like Demon Door or Dimensional specific. Door? Yeah, Dimension Door is the yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. I always get those two, like, mixed up. Okay. I think that, I can't remember if this is just an ability I gave to my monk, but I think there is one monk ability in a specific thing where you can take someone with you using an ability, but I can't remember uh, what it is. But I'm sure well, there's a way to do it. What good is that? <laughs> yeah. So It doesn't Arendelle, help us at all, you? Psychic. <laughs> oh no, are there, are there no monks here? No, who cares? There's a monk in every other one of your games, I think. Pretty much. Well, not anymore. For which one? Well, we just had a monk join Golden Vault. Oh, but yeah. True. Aw, fishy. We miss you, man. I miss fishy. <laughs> uh -huh. Um, okay. So, Val, it is your turn. We are lowering the DC. Uh, he did target you specifically and essentially tormented and tried to, uh... I dropped a dice. It rolled a six, so I don't care. Um, he essentially taught, like, basically tried to uh, taunt you into attacking him. This will lower the DC. This is going to be a DC of 65. So I believe the last one was a 75. 
Eighty one hundred, please. Oh, Fifty nine. <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> <laughs> please take your right? action as noble. <laughs> Oopsie doodles. Um. All right. Cool. Um, I'm going to take a five foot step slightly to the right so I do not hurt my friend. Actually, hang on. Let me make sure that's correct. I might have to take two steps. Two step one time. Crisscross. <laughs> Everybody clap your hands. Oh, uh, yeah. It's five feet. All right. I got you. <laughs> All right, I, yeah, I'm gonna step this way, and then I'm gonna um, sword burst. So that's a dexterity saving throw of fifteen. Okay. Well, that is gonna fail. Amazing, excellent, beautiful. That's five force damage. Um, yep. Every time we I'm... roll a dice, at least one comes up a one. Yeah. Right. Have you noticed it's a broken that? Broken today. It's it's broken. We should change all of those to sixes. Um. <laughs> all right, and then I'm gonna bonus action shoot them. Um, okay. Ah, balls! It's a thirteen. That is going to miss, unfortunately. Lame. Okay, that's fine. Alrighty. Total is going to uh, essentially look at you while he has this kind of wolf dangling. Uh, on the back of his neck. Uh, I he's not really paying too much attention. It's different. Yeah, essentially, he's kind of, like, got his hands kind of, like, retracted backwards, and he's kind of, like, pulling you up and holding onto you. So while you do have him, like, grappled, in a sense, you're just kind of, like, holding onto it, um, essentially, you're just there, being held on as you're, like, latched onto the back of his neck. Uh, but, Val... Is there anything else that you would like to attempt to do at this point? <laughs> um. Uh. Oh yes. Uh. Oh wait, no. I just used my bonus action. No, we're good. Are you still in <laughs> melee there? Yeah. Okay. I just. I was gonna to use. Know. I was gonna use my bonus action, Missy Step, and I forgot immediately that I was gonna mm. do that because <laughs> memory of a goldfish. That's okay. I still get pack tactics if you're there. So. <laughs> Great. Oh. All right. Is know. anyone in really bad shape right now? I'm okay. All right. I'm actually all right. All right. I'm only like four down, so. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that, then, that yeah. healing wave or whatever Arendelle did was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Just making sure. All right, then, yeah, I'm going to just move in next to him and, uh, and... and bonk a bit. I'm I can't twice. remember. Do you do flanking? I do do flanking. Should move down we one. Do do. Coral. There we go. <laughs> All right, so I got advantage now? Yeah. Yes. All right. All right, so two attacks. First attack is... Da, 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 da. <laughs> Wait for it. 17, I think that's, that's it, right? Yeah. Will hit. Meets it, beats it. And second attack will also hit. 23. Second attack will also hit. We love this. All right. Uh, smite with hey, the you first You did have advantage, one. so you could roll him again and, and hope for the crit. All right. We'll try. Nope. All right. It's just two hits. Nope. All right. First one I'm going to smite. So I'm going to attack, and I'm, I'm out of level two spells. So I'll do that is Three. a eight. Eight. That down so nine doubles to 18 plus eight's 26. Uh, so Paladins hit like a truck. Yeah, they do. Uh, Second is back. Ready? It's just going to be a simple little nine. Yep, just a simple little bonk. Yep. And you are going to see him uh, really start to panic a little bit. As well, you can't right. see any physical injuries on his body you don't know what it is actually it looks like he's just created himself into a monster of some sort 
Um, he is stressed. You can see it on his face. He is stressing a little bit. Good. Good. Toby, You're gonna to have see. to deal with me, buddy. Alrighty. Toby's turn. As he genuinely starts to panic a little bit. I want everybody to make me a perception roll, please. Uh, I'll keep my passive 17. 17 will pass it. 23, 23 passes. Crawl with a 25 will pass. Uh, Val, I would like a perception from you, my dear, oh, please. Absolutely not. Uh, that is going to be 17. A 17. Carl, that's a, yeah, you've just noticed that. That is one roll. Uh, <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything. I would have let it oh. slide, but you still pass it anyway. Oh, okay. Did you roll all persuasion? I rolled persuasion, yeah. All okay. of you. All of you are going to get advantage on this as you see that he is doing almost like a last ditch attempt to kind of turn the tides into his corner. I'm going to get everybody to make me a constitution saving throw with advantage. You are looking to beat a 16. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I just barely cleared that. 17, 20, 17, and then Val with okay. advantage. Did not roll with advantage. Rude. Okay. That's I'm fine. Roll, roll it again. 16. Oh. A 16. <coughs> Make, makes it real good. That's as that you all really, noticed, that advantage really saved me. As you all notice that he starts to really start to panic quite a bit. Uh, we are going to reduce the amount of dice used for this attack. As he starts to almost haphazardly flare his body out. Rose, you're almost dropped down to the ground, still in your wolf form, as everybody now watches him kind of retract two of his arms into his body, and then you see this kind of dark and misty icor like substance start to coat his entire body before Rest. it explodes outwards and hits everybody. It is still going to hit everybody. Everybody will take six points of damage. As this is, uh, for anybody that is like wondering, this is kind of like a specific to him kind of attack. If I had to give it a type, it would probably be considered necrotic, um, but not something that could be like gotten rid of. Um, as you see that it hits you guys and it sticks to your skin. And then after a few seconds, you feel it. This is where the damage comes in. You feel it kind of rip off, kind of like a waxing strip, as it kind of rips off of everybody back into him. And yeah. while everybody is going to take the six damage, he is only going to heal for half of the total, which is 12. He's not going to get much at all. Okay. Uh, and I will let you all know that if you had all failed, there would be two D12s rolled. Uh, mm. And it still would have been the total halved. That's how much he would have gotten back. Meanwhile, so he only gets wolf HP. has like a nice like chunk of its fur just ripped off of it. its haunch. <laughs> Looks kind of cool. Alrighty. And that is that. Uh, he was expecting that to do a lot more. And he is still very panicked. Good. Good. Rose. Uh, I'm already here in wolf form, really so bad. I'll just I'll try to do the uh, I'll just keep assaulting him. How does that sound? Okay, so Rose Us. does that, and what would Wolfkins like to do? Hey, what would I like to do? What are you talking no, about? Don't worry, I was making a joke about Wolfkin. Wolf oh, let's see, okay, twelve. Yeah, uh, 30, sixteen just misses, right? She does sixteen have back just tactics, miss though. Roll it again. That's not going to hit. That is going to miss. He essentially is quite easily to explain it as he still has two extra arms. He had like four big ones out. Uh, he still has two extra ones out that's kind of like trying to swat you away from behind him. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else that you would like to or can you do? I don't think you can do much at low level in Wild Shape, can you? Um, I can still do my Bomb of the Summer Court looking over at Val because this kind of this is not a spell. Uh, it's just I am so infused with Feywild energy that it just kind of radiates out of me. 
Um, no. You doing okay, Val, with hit points as like? Uh, I'm ten down, which is a little bit of a lot for me. I only have eighteen left. Okay, so you're gonna get back eleven and two temporary hit points. As Yay. like our eyes lock, and you just feel like this warmth wash over you as you can see this like concern on this wolf's face as it just makes sure to find you before shifting its gaze back to this monstrosity. I look. It's look. And that's right. it for me. Rose, as you finish your turn, the connection between you and Val, you feel it as this fey energy, this magic that you have just innately inside of you as you connect with your best friend, essentially now in this world. As the two of you have that connection, Val, you start to feel this kind of power inside of you. And you feel something kind of start to grow. And almost similar to the fire burning around you, there is now just this fire in your soul. And when it comes to your turn, if you can make the D100, we're going to be able to do some cool shit. Don't say that. The, the, music's, the music's on your side. Come on. Arendelle, what are we well, doing? shouldn't be, because that was a 16. <laughs> we, luckily, luckily, you didn't have to roll it. You just did that for fun. It, it's not your turn. Oh, great. Oh, oh thank I God. Were... Okay, okay. <laughs> that one doesn't count. It was practice. If you want it, if you want a clip for the episode, there it is. <laughs> oh. I was just following orders. So, was I supposed to <laughs> roll the D100? Is that what that was? No, Aridel, it is just it. your turn. She's going to roll it on her turn, I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Um... Oh, that was great. <laughs> Do it again, sorry. <laughs> it gets Hold lower. for Silly Goose. Have you rolled above 50? Oh, yeah, yeah. You bit, You almost hit it one time, didn't you? Yeah. Um... Does anybody... How's everybody on hill? I'm good now. Everybody else good? Okay. Um, in that case, I'm going to... Um, uh, use the cantrip uh, Sacred Flame again. Uh, it's a dexterity 15 save. Uh, dexterity 15, you said? Uh, yeah. oh, wrong dice. Uh, lucky I rolled the wrong one. That is a miss. Uh, that is a fail, sorry. Okay. Um, that's going to be 12 uh, Radiant. <laughs> 12 Radiant. Nice. Yeah. That's nice. double to 24, yeah? Yep. Dang. We, we love our two little Radiant buddies. I know. <laughs> we do. Alrighty, is there anything else that you would like to do on your turn? Yeah, just a second. Just doing some math. Mm -hmm. Love math. Hold for math. <laughs> this music yeah, is really okay. good, though. Yeah, um, right? Right. Uh, then I'm going to use my main action. Okay. Um, and I'm going to... Uh, <clears throat> Nah, I'm just gonna. I'm going to give the help action to Val. Beautiful. Okay. I'm kind of behind you, like you got this, girl. <laughs> Whip his there ass. Else on your turn. And then that'll be the end of my turn. Mm. Okay, Val. Now there is I a couple of things. There is a couple of things that are going to work in your favor here. Mm -hmm. You will get to use the help on the D100 if you need to to roll it twice. You got oh. this, girl. With the connection that you made with Rose invigorating you and the fire inside of you that is going to lower the DC a little more. And now also that you have essentially environmental reasons as well, as your back is towards the fire of your burning village, and you're facing Torval, who is looking extremely hurt. 
I'm going to get you to roll me two D100 rolls with the help. The DC is going to be a 40. Okay, you can do this. So this is number one. Number one. 24. Oh my god. I'm just an unlucky person. Second D100 roll. All my luck is going to something else right now, so. Better. Seven! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Annoying. What the absolute fuck is happening over there? Oh. This is my uh, Cthulhu character all over again. Do you, oh, my do God, you it have is. inspiration at all? Like, I don't, do you have I anything? Don't. I don't. Oh. Oh, you're not this girl. <laughs> Patting you on the back. <laughs> Take your turn as normal. Beautiful. Um, I am going to do a little bit of uh burning hands. I'm gonna just like. My, like, gauntlets heat up, and I'm going to just, like, push him with my hands. Um, so that's going to be a uh, dexterity saving throw of 12. Okay. With a roll, uh, that is going to pass. Boo. Let me see if it's half damage. Still takes half. Yep. Takes three failed save. A creature takes three three d six fire damage on a failed save, or half as much on a successful one. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna roll it, and then you'll take half of that. Okay. Half of what I roll. It's forty six on this one. So it's gonna be fourteen 46. to seven fire damage. Um, uh -huh. And then I'm going to use my bonus action uh, because everybody else is around, so I don't have to worry about her wild shape shit. I'm gonna misty step um, away. Bravely ran away away. Um, So here's the thing. I'm trying real mm -hmm. hard not to make her Inspector Gadget, but I did when I was thinking about how misty step would work for her. <laughs> imagine a little like propeller that would like start turning and like cover <laughs> and <laughs> I love that. I love that. I was also thinking, because I have Tasha's Caustic Brew, that it would be, like, a finger, like, yeah. <laughs> like, All right, so is there I love this. anything else that you could do right yeah. now? I'm going to move out of the way. So, and, and how long, how far can I go on Misty Step? 30 feet. Beautiful. Um, I'm just going to go this way. That was a dumb way to move. 10, 20. 25, 30. Okay, there. We're good. Alright. Is there anything else? Nope, that's it. I just I just want it to be known uh, that this was meant to be, like, Val's fight. Yeah! Um, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work out like that for me, though. <laughs> no. Carl. Well, how you doing? Right. You got one spell slot left, and I'm, damn it, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> Yep. All right. So let's do the full attack. First attack. Uh, it's gonna be twenty-four, and second one's gonna miss. So okay. what I'm gonna do, because I have been waiting on Mum, who has been in the hospital waiting for me to go and grab her. Uh, he did legitimately. You will see it on my screen that I have been calculating and doing all the maths. <laughs> he is on 2 HP. Oh. oh. He is on 2 HP. No. Because, because half family emergency, uh, I have needed to go a little earlier, and he is so low. It does not matter what you roll, especially using this mic, he's going to die. Hey. And what we're gonna do hey. is we're gonna let you have this moment to kill Torval. 
and then I will cut it short. And then after our little next hiatus, uh, we will be pointing and laughing at Val not for making a D100 roll. <laughs> uh, you mean like 20 D100 rolls? Right. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, you know, I was a thinking, nine. I still can't do it. Oh my! Maybe it's the D one hundred. Call of Cthulhu. The D one hundred is screwing you too. Although yeah. in the opposite direction. Yeah. It's just D one hundreds don't like you. Yeah, they don't like. Me. With the absolute mastery that Crowell holds, how would you like to end this? All right. So yeah, the my last bit of magic uh, just channels through my hand. My. Uh, um, magical artificial hand and just channels through that that sword lights it up with fire holy fire and just slices the guy and he just disintegrates it in this cascade of radiant energy right as you do your slashing as you do your slicing as you cut the last time you finally feel some resistance. This whole time, as you're the only one that's physically hit him, even with wolf form Rose, like, latching onto the neck, the neck is still a very soft part. Every time that you've slashed at this guy, it has felt like you're slashing through nothing, like a shadow, almost. This is the first time where you have hit something solid. As soon as you hit that solid part of it, and you kind of, like, with a bit of resistance, finally manage to slash through into it, you see Torval and listen to him kind of scream this guttural scream that the only time you guys have heard something similar is back in the basement in the town mm -hmm. of Girl, which Arundel has no idea what that is about. Um, but as you kind of have cut in, you hear that guttural sound again, and you watch as it slices him into two as his body falls onto the ground. And after a few seconds, because you know that you can't truly kill him, you watch as his body starts to melt and suffer into a little puddle of a dark eye core, similar to what he spat at you earlier, until it starts to seep into the ground. And where we are going to leave this is everybody's going to need to start running as the eye core starts to spread out and starts to crawl up the trees and decompose it. Chris? I do say one thing that I would do, mm -hmm. just because I want to get it on the record, because I, I don't want to forget it for next time. Um, I will drop my wild shape, turning back into a, you know, rose, trying to gather myself. I'm going to use my feature, uh, Wild Resurgence, to get one of my wild shapes back, and then I will wild shape one more time into a draft horse. And then I will gallop over okay. towards Val so that she can climb aboard. At least. I have make short little run. chubby girl legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the other two can run like peasants. <laughs> I mean, they, they might be able to get on. We can we can deal with that later. All I'm saying is I want to <laughs> I want to be known I'm gonna be a horse so I don't forget when we have to yeah. run from this shit in a month or whenever. Sure. So that is where we will end it for tonight. Awesome. Out straight away. Okay. So, so thank you very much. Gonna, yep. Thank you. We're going to cut off here. No post game talk for this one because of, you know, the stuff going on. Uh, thank you all for watching. Don't forget if you, if you enjoy us, you know, join the Patreon. If you want to, you can join for free. Plus we have bonus content on there. If you, if you want to check that out or come talk to us in the discord and don't forget to like, and subscribe. <laughs> all right. Go take care of your mom. All right. Bye. See, you later. See you all later. Bye. Everybody.